are you struggling with coming up with original nail art ideas and just how to think when it comes to that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Lena Ryden. I have been doing nails since 2005. Five, I'm also international educator and in this video I am going to tell you and show you exactly how I come up with my nail art designs starting from just getting inspired by my clients whatever they are wearing or if they have a specific theme so actually in this video Stilu sent me six pairs of glasses and they challenged me to create three sets inspired by these six pairs of glasses so hopefully at the end of this video you will have a little bit better understanding on how to create your own style how to get inspired by things around you and not necessarily Google nails or look at nail pictures there's nothing wrong with that but if you want to create original nail art designs you need to look at the things around you and maybe get inspired by your clients accessories which we're gonna do today so without further ado let's just get started so here I have actually paired up the six pairs of glasses into two and then I used those two to create a set inspired by that if that makes sense uh, so this is what I recommend you to do as well like if you have a client and she says do whatever you want some people love that some people hate it because they feel like it's so much pressure uh, for me it's kind of it both uh, I like it, but at the same time, I don't like it. So here's what you can do. Look at your client and take a look at what she is wearing. Do you have any accessories? Do you have any fun bags or necklaces or glasses, uh, her jacket, her shoes, something like that. And then pair up maybe two pieces and create something based on that. So for this set, I decided to pair up the two glasses with a tortoise pattern, um, obviously, and then create something that will go with both of those um, glasses. And that's the same thing, you know, with, with your clients. Maybe they actually have two pairs of glasses and they want to be able to match their nails with both of them. And I do have to mention that this tortoise uh, technique, I have been inspired by one of my dear nail friends, Winnie. If you haven't watched her videos yet, go ahead and do that. She has an amazing tortoise uh, tutorial here on YouTube. So just search for like Winnie and tortoise and nails or nail art, something like that. You will find it. But I do want to give her a shout out for being the queen of tortoise patterns. So what I decided to do here was to use the tortoise pattern as a base because both of the glasses have the same pattern. One is a little bit lighter and one is a little bit darker, but still it goes for both of them. And then I wanted to add those, um, you can see like mauve grayish lines that goes through this pair right here. And uh, we're actually gonna get to that in just a second. But here's the second pair. And as you can see, you have the same pattern. It's just that it's a little bit darker, but still it's, you, you can see the, the amber, yellow base uh, color it's kind of the same it's just that this pair has a little bit more black spots in it so i mean you can adjust that as you wish but here i'm actually gonna try to mix up that specific color so i just went in with the dark brown with a little bit of white and then i think i pretty much nailed it pun intended so here i'm just going in and creating some lines i actually started out with trying to just have the tortoise pattern as lines and then fill up the rest of the nail with this color but when I did that I just felt like this was a waste of time because I put so much time into creating the tortoise pattern so I decided to go in the opposite direction so negative space but in the other way you probably know what I mean 
adding a little bit of decorations, of course, adding the striping tape that will represent uh, actually the inside of, you can see here, the inside of the glasses, you have both the, the gold line and then these um, metallic decorations. And finishing off with some shine on top of this, you can probably do this matte as well, but I wanted to copy the style of the glasses, so I decided to go with um, a shiny top coat. And here is the finished first set that we're gonna do today. And yeah, I really do like it. When I asked you on my Instagram which set you wanted to see, uh, most of you actually wanted to see this set, I think. Uh, but it's pretty cool, I really like it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into the next set. So here I decided to go for a different shape. So I'm cutting the corners off um, my ballerina tips and then shaping them a little bit to make them more like a, a Russian almond so here I am trying to copy that nude-ish type of color um, from the leopard glasses and then I mix also a little bit of clear into that because I still want to have it a little bit see-through and that's why I chose to have the see-through tips as well so after I have finished the base on those nude nails, I am going to create that greenish, lovely color, by the way, and then starting to paint. So here, what I wanted to recreate, can you see that it's like um, negative space on the glasses as well? So you have the green shape, but then it's like clear around that. So that is kind of what inspired me for this nail. So I'm trying to recreate that negative space feeling and also adding some gold details to that. So you can see here now, I'm just trying to figure out what does these um, spots look like? Because it's, it's kind of like a leopard, but it's almost like a tortoise but not really so anyways i'm just trying to copy that straight off i'm not trying to put my own spin to it so just applying those dots and after i have done that i actually left it for a little while so it started to spread a little bit and that made it look even more like the glasses so i really like the look of that so sometimes just leave it for a little bit and Sometimes magic happens, sometimes it doesn't, but this time it did. Also, when you look at the glasses like really up close, you can see that it kind of has like a dark, it's darker at the top and then it fades down. So that's why I went in with a little bit of that brown and just kind of just dabbed it onto the nails to recreate that look. And going in with some striping tape, trying to recreate the feeling of those uh, gold sides of the glasses and I'm also gonna you can see here I'm adding those super pretty um, I call it unicorn horns well on our website we call it like that uh, they're super pretty and I want that to resemble the details of the uh, green glasses so here I am prepping those well, let's call it leopard nails and adding uh, a little bit of details. Here, I was inspired by the metal thing that goes over the nose. Can you see that you have that half oval metal gold thing? So I actually had similar things in my drawer. So I decided to uh, use that and then add some other gold details as well. But I think that is such a fun, small detail to add. Like if you can find small things like that and try to recreate that in your set it makes it just super cute and cool but yeah here is the finished set number two and i am really happy how this turned out i seriously have to give myself some cred for matching up that green color so perfectly <laughs> it's like <laughs> i'm in shock still uh anyways moving on to pair number uh three not pair but the set number three so this time I decided that I wanted to go for a shorter style. So 
I cut the tips down and rounded them up so they're more like a normal, just oval uh, shape. But here, uh, you can see I am wearing those super cute transparent glasses, but the sides are actually tortoise. So, uh, here I wanted to incorporate that pattern together with the see-through effect. So I wanted to have that negative space feeling, but yeah, adding that tortoise pattern. So the tip here, we're gonna do our, like a French design, but that one is gonna be see-through and then as you can see here, I've started to create uh, the, the back of the nail with the same exact same tortoise uh, technique that we did for the first set. And I have to add that this tortoise or leopard or I would say snakeskin, any type of animal print right now, it is super trendy and it works so well with all the fall colors and uh, outfits and all. So I would definitely recommend you guys to um, wear something animal printy on your nails or uh, if you have any other accessories like bags or stuff like that. Uh, this pair of glasses, can I, can we just talk about this? This blue is freaking amazing. I love this so much. I have never worn a pair of glasses that are this blue or like this type of color even. I was a little bit skeptical when I looked at it, but then when I put them on, it was like, I love these so darn much. And here I am trying to recreate that fantastic blue. It was pretty easy, just went in with um, a basic blue, added a little bit of black and there you have it. So painting that onto the other nails and I wanted this blue to be the main focus on this set. So that's why I decided to paint all three nails in this color and then just do a, like a full covering um, effect with that. Adding some striping tape and can you see those little studs on the glasses on the sides? I have the exact, well yeah, same studs as decorations so I just put that on and then I made them matte. I know the glasses aren't matte but I felt like it needed a matte touch just to make it pop a little more. I think when you mix matte and shiny, that's just the prettiest thing ever. And I just love how this set turned out. It really brings all the details together from the glasses and I just love the elegant and chic look with this. And there you have it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Which set was your favorite? And maybe how would you do it? Or what inspires you when you're creating your nail art sets? And did this maybe help you in any way? I would love to hear what you're thinking. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to check out Siwu and use my codes, which are in the description box below so that you can get discounts on all of these glasses and other styles if you like that better. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.